I get asked the question all the time from our small businesses to our enterprise level companies. Why do agencies exist when you can just hire an employee? Getting someone for like $30,000 a year can totally overcome the cost of an agency if your agency is providing a lot of services for you or a lot of value in that case. So I kind of wanted to flesh down and like flesh out, drill down on why agencies even exist or how do they even exist? So some of our three points that we have, we're gonna talk about the real costs of an employee. We're gonna talk about the team of experts that you actually get from an agency. And then we're gonna talk about the manager's worst nightmares, okay? So the real cost of an employee, when you boil down the wages, the salaries of an employee, you get usually like an hourly cost or a salary, right? So by using these salaries, we can sort of see what a yearly cost of an employee is. So say you're hiring a young millennial fresh out of college to run your social media for you. You're an enterprise level company, so you're thinking maybe I can just hire someone, uh, pay them you know, $18 an hour or something and get them to just post on social media for me and be sort of the social media expert because they're a young millennial and they know how to post on social media, right? So 18 bucks an hour, that's gonna boil down to you know, like 30, $40,000 a year. Um, I think, right, I don't know how to do math. So it, on average, an employee generally costs about 75% more than their actual wage, just based on uh, providing job supplies, based on providing culture for them, doing you know those, those food items, um, any benefits that are just bonus that you're providing for these, for, these, for these employees, for these kids, right? So you end up actually paying almost double on that employee. So you have to consider if you're hiring that social media person, you're gonna, you're gonna spend $40,000 a year, you should consider that you're probably gonna actually be spending like 75,000 a year. And sure, you'll have an employee, so it's manpower, right? You'll be able to take this employee and do with them what you please. You know, if they need to uh, run some faxes for you or something, you can, you can have them do that, right? It's manpower. But really, they do have a specific job that they need to fulfill and they have a certain bandwidth that they need to cover that job for. So if you can't cover the social media job, this social media position, and they can't do it well, then all of a sudden you're spending money on someone who has half bandwidth on one thing, half bandwidth on another, you're actually only spending $12,000 on social media a year, and then you end up spending the rest on faxing and paying for job supplies, right? Look at these expo markers, they all cost something, right? So that's the real cost and why the cost of agencies actually isn't that bad. Um, you're actually getting a very focused cost because they're only providing one service or task for you generally. So the other thing is too, you're getting a team of experts. So having one employee doing social media is great, but usually in an agency, Tasks like that are tackled with multiple people. I know for us, for, for our example, for us, we actually use like almost five people for some of our tasks. Um, so if we're running like a free trial for uh, Facebook ad management, you know, we, we, we literally use four people that are experts in specific fields, you know, that are immersed in it all day and every day to provide the service for you. So using just social media as like the, just one person for social media is kind of like jipping yourself because that person then has to be skilled in marketing campaign management and creation. They have to be skilled in graphic design, videography. They have to be skilled in lead generation tactics uh, through social media, which means they're probably creating some sort of lead magnet. They need to be good with your brand. They need, a good, they need to know your brand voice. They need to know how you're networking in general. So, you know, that's eight different items under one umbrella and you're asking one person to do it. Uh, sure, it's their dedicated job, but you also get one person who's trying to accomplish a task that five people literally could be experts on. You can have someone who's an expert on marketing campaign, an expert on brand and voice, uh, transferring over to you know graphics and lead gen and uh, other items, as well as you know having an expert on graphic design. How likely is it that one employee that you hire has the expert level skills for all those subsets? 
it's almost impossible. You aren't paying, you're not paying for someone who's $18 an hour at that point. You're paying for someone who's $45 or $60 an hour um, just because they have the expertise for all those skill sets. So secondly, you're getting this specialized task from an agency. Usually an agency only provides, you know, one to eight or 12 actual services. So, and they're specialized on those services. They literally perform that service for many people. So they see all the time what works, what doesn't work. And usually what ends up happening is that these tasks, because they're so specialized, is you get better results right out the gate. You get more consistent results. This social media person, the one employee that you'll be hiring, has never worked on your social media before. Or if they have worked on your social media, maybe they've worked on some other social medias or maybe they've worked for an agency which they had a help for to do, <laughs> to do all their social work. So this, this specialized task that you're getting ends up being very, very consistent and it gets optimized to a higher performance level in a shorter amount of time through an agency. So that's really important to remember. The other thing is too, if you think you're just doing things your way by having an employee, like we're doing things our way, it's an internal member, it's our person, they're doing things our way, then you obviously have never been asked by an agency what your brand voice is or how you'd like things to be handled. So it's an agency's job to be sure that they're handling things the way that you would like it to be handled. You know, everyone's trying to be friendly. You, you should be getting a strategic partner in a sense when you're working with an agency. So the strategic partner needs to know how to do things your way. It should be no different than having an employee. You know, it's a friend. You're not working with a foe. You're not working with a third party. Sure, it's another organization that's working with you, but it really is someone who should be doing things your way as well. Don't think you're getting gypped out of it because you're not hiring an employee. That brings us to our third and final point, manager's worst nightmare. Nine times out of 10, if you ask a manager what their least favorite part of their job is, they'll probably say they hate firing people. And usually you have to fire people or get rid of people when they underperform. So you've committed to an employee for one, two, three, five, 10, 15 years, and they consistently underperform. Your job as a manager is usually to help coach them up into a position where they're actually providing value and a large return on investment for your company. So when you consistently see this underperformance and you have to actually make the move to fire them or, or part ways with that employee, it gets really difficult, especially when you've built a relationship with that person, especially when you've invested time in that person, especially when that person has got to know your business. It becomes very difficult. On the other hand, no one has ever felt bad about firing an agency. Usually, underperformance goes like this. You guys fired yourselves. So <laughs> an agency gets taken out of the picture real quick when they underperform. The terms of their contract is literally how, how long you have to work with these guys. So it could be a month, it could be a year, you know. So putting together this underperformance and get it like putting it together with an agency almost makes it a no risk item to hire an agency or a far lower risk than hiring an employee. When you should consider using an employee or an agency is when you are trying to hire or provide a service for yourself um, that is extraneous to what your company does or what it's good at. If you're a car dealership and you're really good at selling vehicles, you probably shouldn't hire a social media manager just because it's not what you are specifically good at. If you need that person to do other things, you're gonna find yourself stretching them and stretching yourselves to fit into each other's work sets. Whereas an agency, you can specifically hire for a specific task. So if you need a CRM, you go to a third party because you wouldn't develop a CRM for yourself. So that's a very specific task for a very specific third party application. So that's when agencies become really good. When you don't see much overlap on your services that you're really good at and the item that you want to provide. So if you want to provide social media and you're a car dealership, you're not providing that service, right? 
separate. So you should probably hire an agency. So just like the two political parties, they're both trying to do what's good for the nation, right? The US, but there's the employee way and there's the agency way. And one way is right and one way is wrong, but you have to discern and figure out what's right for you. Nine times out of 10, I like choosing an agency for a specific task because quite frankly, we're not good at doing a lot of things. We're really good at doing one or 10 things, but we're not really good at doing, I, like I couldn't sell you a car because I just don't know enough about vehicles. Like it just doesn't make sense for me to sell cars, but maybe I could tell you to go to my friends down the street and they could sell you a car. But what I am really good at is making marketing and sales decisions. So that's the time to use an agency. With that being said, thanks. Hey guys, thanks much for watching another Whiteboard Wednesday video. If you liked the video or thought it provided some value, maybe start some banter with a friend, we'd love for you to share it. Thanks much.